It ain't over. It ain't over. The party's not over. Come on. It's Friday, 30th of August. Does anyone remember Opal Fruits? Anyone? Tell everybody you know it's the Ashley Story Show. Tell everybody you know it's the Ashley Story Show. Come for the music and stay for the sparkling wit. Silent buffets, all right, let's get on with it. Go tell everybody you know it's the Ashley Story Show. I'm Ashley Story. You're listening to BBC Radio Scotland live from BBC Pacific Quay, joined as always by Psychic Silent Paul. Hello, Silent Paul. How are you this week? I'm all right. We are getting nostalgic as we turn back time. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Jumped the gun. <laughs> really did. Um, we're getting nostalgic because we Oasis are coming back or something. And well, we thought... seems to be a lot. Everything just seems to be tinged with nostalgia. All the movies. Yeah. All the TV shows. Yeah. The bands coming back. Everything just seems to be... Cargo pants are back. That's, but to be fair, that's not a bad thing. No, I love a cargo pant. I'm very excited by it. But I was just saying that's another thing that's back is the cargo pant. I thought the, I thought All Saints was the last we'd see of the many pocketed pant for a lady. But no, no they're, they're back. And I'm very excited because you know I love a pocket. And yeah. We want to hear from you. We want to hear what are the things you wish would come back from your day. Get in touch via text 80295. You can email us ashleystoryshow at bbc.co.uk. You can WhatsApp us. What's that? WhatsApp, Paul? 0885 92 95 00. I want radio roadshows to come back because I want us to be able to go on a bus like Alan Partridge and and cut about Scotland. I, I, mean, I would do it for like a full tour. Like, just come to your town. It's just, it's unfair. We were born. It doesn't even need to be, like, a fancy van. No. No. It can be, like, a weird uncle van. I've got many weird uncles with very many vans. Some, like, that used to be ice cream vans. Why did they buy them? They don't know. They just have them in their yards. An ice cream van. No. I've changed my mind about that. We would look weird if we were going about an ice cream van. (laughs) Like, just one of those, like, a library bus van. A library van. You know that Cuddy from Midsummer Murders worked in a library van? Is that right? Yeah, John Nettle's daughter in Midsummer Murders. There you go. That was a fun fact. Anyway, I wish we could go back to a time where library vans and radio road shows were a thing. If only I was Cher or Doctor Who and I could turn back time. <laughs>
That was Cher, and if I could turn back time, Paul, is that the one where she's on a naval ship? Yeah, a straddle, and her a pants, big gun, and a, like a biker hat, mm-hmm. just singing to a bunch of sailors who are going wild. They're like, "Oh my god, I can't believe Cher's she on the boat." She knew what she was doing with uh, that outfit. She is so cool. I just don't understand thematically where uh, uh, a sort of sultry biker lady meets naval. I think it was more leather, daddy. <laughs> Leather Mummy. I don't know where Leather Mummy meets Navy. Like, I just thematically, it just seems so weird that, that, that that's what she rocked up in. Listen, it's all about the crossovers these days. <laughs> You're not Share wrong. Share X, US Navy. <laughs> You're not wrong. We've got messages in. Um, Mark Barker says, When I was a wee guy, my mum and my granny would go to the bingo on a Thursday night and me and my Uncle Willie would go um, to Blockbusters and rent horror movies and buy a big bag of sweet popcorn yes. and juice. I know that everything is in digital now, but I just love that feeling of the excitement of getting to stroll up and down the aisles of horror videos. We creep wall. It, the, the, that tactile feeling of picking up video cases yeah. and reading the back of them uh-huh. and then picking a film solely based on the artwork of the video case. Yeah. Fantastic. Dylan says, so two things I want brought back are Cadbury Snaps and Blockbuster or any video shop in general. I really miss going to the video shop, picking out my snack and deciding what video to watch. Also, sometimes if I was lucky, mum would get us a chippy or a pizza on the way to. It was a really special time. I worry that people's love of the old video shop is going to make them vulnerable to these nostalgia hipsters like the horrible boys with a cereal shop in Shoreditch who charge like £7 for a bowl of cereal. Well, they're doing to... it with the vinyl. But I can imagine that becoming like a, oh, come back to a video shop and then you get your membership card and you can get a video shop. We've also got a cocktail bar. I can imagine that happening, but I can imagine it costing a lot of money. Yeah, we should open that first. It's no, I don't thing. like exploitative things. We don't things. need to exploit them. We could just work out a price point that makes it feasible. I remember going to New Zealand and going to a video shop and you could rent like the machines. What, a VHS? You could rent a VHS, you could rent a DVD player, a PlayStation, all of the stuff that you needed to, to play it, because it was for people who were travelling. Right, okay, so, they are very trusting, though. Yeah, well, you had to put in a deposit and give right. them your credit yeah. card and stuff, but I remember like when we were on tour in New Zealand and I was really homesick and I'd been there for a month, my mum rented me a PlayStation for a night and I had the best night of my life. <laughs> I didn't have to go and talk to comedians. I could just sit in my room and play, what did you play? Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, there we <laughs> Obviously go. Obviously Crash Bandicoot. What else am I going to be doing? Other Bandicoots who bounce are available. Um, but yeah, I I, I love that. Maybe Anything else you that. would bring back? I wouldn't bring back video shops because I feel like it would become exploitative. Um, I'd like to bring back boy bands, like proper boy bands. I just feel like boy bands, they don't dance anymore. And I hate it. Did, what about your BTS? Would you consider things like that a boy band? BTS, 
K-pop is phenomenal. K-pop is very nostalgic. I'm talking about British boy bands. K-pop, you're but do you swell. even get boy bands anymore? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'd like to bring them back. Like, if you watch One Direction, they can't dance. They never danced. They were weird when they tried to dance. To Some the of point them couldn't sing Would it become a meme? That's a lie. Every single member of One Direction is a talented singer, and mm. I will not hear a word against them. Um, I really want to be pals with them. Stop bullying One Direction, Paul. But I really like that old school boys on take that everybody could dance, everybody could do choreography, apart from Gary Barlow, and I wish that would come back. Do you know what I think so? No. Why not? I'm not into that. Do you not miss like people dancing when they sung? No. Like remember in Eurovision where they ripped all the women's skirts off? That was like the seventies. I bring back that. Just bring back like a choreo a bit of choreography. Bring back legs and co. Bring back people who don't sing the song doing dances to the song. But that I feel that's just what TikTok is now. Yeah, but I want it to be on the high telly. production on the telly. A bunch of women, we know all their names, we know their backstories, we've got favourites, and they're doing MacArthur Park, but they're in a yellow dress holding up cakes above their head. I want that. <laughs> they're doing really literal interpretations <laughs> of the songs. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Old Top of the Pops. Okay, that's what I want back. Old Top of the Pops. Legs and co dance numbers, but you know it would be like um, that were very literally representative, or or they they would just take something that was very like pop culture at the time. So when Star Wars came out, there was like they they had a a space themed one, even yeah, if yeah, it yeah. wasn't a space song. Yeah, yeah. So you know that this week it would have just been like, oh, there's a the latest, there's a Wolverine film on the the films. Uh, it would have just been all in no, it'd be Sabrina Carpenter. I don't know, cause I'm a singer with a bunch of women with knives between their fingers yeah. for no good reason. Amazing. Keys. <laughs> it was an absolute. It, don't you think it was a fun time where people didn't have music videos, so you literally just had these women interpreting your song via dance for you. Yeah, it was right. And do you know what? As well, it was like you had people doing artistic things. Yes. That weren't talented, which is the same as now. But they weren't famous. No, that was it. It was just for a bit. Of, it was just for a bit of sizzle. I mean, the thing that would occasionally one the legs and co, or the other ones who took over legs and co, di- diamond dancers or something. Occasionally, one of them would go out with Stoke on Trent footballer, and that would be in like. But you would either that would be in the tabloids. But, yeah, but you never ever saw that anyway because it was only in the tabloids in Stoke on Trent. Yeah, it was. Huh? Bring back the old days. One, we never knew MD's business. No, never. Great. To, there was no music videos. <laughs> when you bought something, you just bought it and you owned it. So there was nothing like 25 million subscri- subscriptions. I hate that a lot of word processors are now like, you have to subscribe to it. Do you know Why? What? The, I, the, see, when the day that happened, that was the day I stopped using that word processor yeah. and started using freeware because I was like, oh, I can get this for free. I'm going to use it for free then. Yeah, th- thanks very much. But no, I mean, I'm quite willing to pay you the one-off uh-huh. original fee to just own this for time ever because I don't need the 24, 25, 26 version of no. this. I'm quite happy using the one that I bought seven years ago. Paul, I still do my tax on a programme that has the number 19 in it. <laughs> at the f- at the front? Yes. It starts 19. <laughs> right. Get in touch via text 80295. Email us ashleystoryshow at bbc.co.uk or you can e- you can WhatsApp us. What's that WhatsApp, Paul? It's 0885 92 95. We were talking about going on the road, doing a radio road show, and I thought maybe we could get an ice cream van. And Jane Jones says, if you buy an ice cream van, would you and Paul be justified and ancient? Oh, you've just made me nostalgic. Here's the KLF and Tammy Winnett. Oh.